Good morning, this is Pastor David Charlton. This is my devotion for Monday, July the 6th. The psalm for this week is Psalm 65, verses 1 through 13. I'm going to sing it today using a different psalm tone than I've used before. Praise is due to you, O God in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who answer prayer, to you all flesh shall come. When deeds of iniquity overwhelm us, you forgive our transgressions. Happy are those who come whom you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. By awesome deeds, you answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. By your strength you established the mountains. You are girded with might. You silence the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at earth's farthest bounds are awed by your signs. You make the gateways of the morning and the evening shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain, for you so have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon tracks overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows close themselves with flocks. The valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The readings for this Sunday, July the 12th, are Isaiah 55, 10 through 13, Psalm 65, 1 through 13, Romans 8, 1 through 11, Matthew 13, verses 1 through 9, and 18, through 23. The common theme of our lessons this week is the Word of God, which like rain that waters the earth or seed that is sown in the soil produces an abundant harvest. The first lesson from Isaiah and the psalm both speak of how God waters the earth with grain each year. It isn't by accident that the rains come and the fields and the fruit trees ripen. It is because of God's grace. The Creator is faithful in supplying the needs of human beings, animals, and all creation. In the same way, Isaiah says, God is faithful to His Word. When He makes a promise, it comes to pass, because God is gracious and powerful. In the Gospel, Jesus uses a similar image. Instead of speaking of rain, He speaks of grain itself. God's Word is sown in the world. At first, it seems to fail. Lack of understanding, lack of endurance, and worldly cares prevent the Word of God from taking root in a person's heart. Nevertheless, the Word of God is powerful. It only appears to fail at first. In the end, it will bring forth a supernatural harvest in the lives of those who have faith. Trust in God's Word. Take it to heart. Listen to Jesus and take His Word to heart. It will bear fruit in your life now and in eternity. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for planting in us the seed of your word. By your Holy Spirit, help us to receive it with joy, live according to it, and grow in faith, 
hope, and love through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being with me today, and may the Word of God fill you and produce an abundant harvest. Amen.